wait patiently and prepare. Know that it's coming. And when it does come, cherish it like no other. Hey you guys, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over season of waiting. So recently I was just sitting and I was thinking and these few words came to me. And it was just about for people that are in a waiting season, me included. For some things, I've been in a waiting season longer than I like, but hey, I'm going to wait patiently and happily. But anyways, it says that you are in a season of waiting. This is not time for you to go around gallivanting. This is time for you to prepare so that you can properly receive the things that you are seeking. For the last like week or so, this parable has come up twice. And the parable is the parable of the virgins, which is found in Matthew chapter 25. And pretty much uh, it's these 10 virgins and it goes over, you know, the wise ones and the unwise ones and those that end up getting left out because they didn't properly prepare for what they were seeking. And the last quote of that on 13, I'm going to read it from the King James Version, but it says, watch, therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. And then in the international version, it says, therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. It just reminds me um, of something, too, that my cousin had told me years ago. What he told me, he was just like, you know, some of the best advice I was ever given was opportunities present themselves at different times for different people. But the last thing that you want to do is be unprepared or unable to capitalize on the opportunity when it presents itself, which I feel ties into this whole entire message about, yes, you may be in a season of waiting, but that's not for you to not do anything. You have to prepare. You have to make room. Be in a space where you can properly receive those things that you want because you want to keep them long term and then also uh as i told you guys i'm reading the power of now and then within there it talks about that parable again so i was just like okay okay i get it i get it i get it it says jesus speaks of the five careless which are unconscious women who do not have enough oil consciousness to keep their lamps burning stay present and so miss the bridegroom the now and don't get to the wedding feast, the period of enlightenment. These five stand in contrast to the five wise women who have enough oil. And then in parentheses, it says stay conscious. So to elaborate a little bit more on that story, just like as I said, we don't know when it's going to come, how it's going to come. And the only thing that we can do is make sure that we're prepared for when it does come so that we don't miss an opportunity. And I think that is even worse than having it and losing it, but to know that you could have had it, but you didn't do the things that you needed to do. So therefore you weren't able to partake in what was meant for you. It's some things in life as well. It's just like, sometimes we allow our surroundings to deter us from the things that God is telling us to do or we try to impart our own wisdom into the situation but the truth of the matter is that like when dealing with god we have to abandon our own knowledge and lean into him for a better understanding of what it is that he has for us because we are only limited you know to this scope of seeing this but he's able to see steps ahead of us he knows the entire big picture so therefore things may not make sense in the now because you can only see so far ahead but to the person that knows all of the different moving pieces everything is happening as it's supposed to happen and a little bit for me and my own story is just that when it comes to waiting i haven't always been a patient waiter and this is something that i'm 
more recently and i say like more recently being this year is more recently just been accepting where i'm at and what i have going on while continuously trying to prepare and it's just like i can't worry or stress myself out about things that i do not have because i do not have them doing that isn't going to bring them to me so it's just like be patient but prepare and then when the time is right the things that are for you will come to you just because we want something to happen doesn't mean that it's automatically going to happen overnight or we impart so much of ourself into something trying to force it to happen whatever the case is it's not the same as if when it's giving to you because of what you did while you were in preparation so let's you know not seek things prematurely let's do the work and let's wait patiently on the things to come to us and while we're waiting for things don't let how long you have to wait deter you from waiting just know that there is a level of comfort and a level of solid understanding that the wait will be worthwhile and then you will better understand why you had to wait for certain things but that's it you know just a quick video as usual you know take time to enjoy your own journey and i will catch you guys in the comments into the next video bye